All right, coming in on our second topic, we're going to be talking about the Riddick 4 movie. Now, for those who don't know, I've really enjoyed the Chronicles of Riddick. Richard B. Riddick is one, hands down one of my top like 20 most badass characters in the film. I think that idea of the character is solid. I like the presence. I like Ben Diesel's portrayal of the character. I love the story of the character. The actual universe itself is really, really interesting. It's very diverse, um, which is one thing I had to kind of get a handle on when I first was introduced to it, because the first film that you see of his character is more of a sci-fi horror film. And then it goes into this weird, sci-fi-ish fantasy adventure element and then it kind of goes back to this sci-fi horror adventure it's just very very diverse and then of course you got the animated movie that came out with it uh you had the games that actually supported it. some you know there was a couple of them uh, media that was actually introduced to help make, you know help the continuity of the and, and i'm not gonna say i don't care what nobody say escape from butcher bay was badass that was like good game that game was freaking awesome uh but this whole time i wanted them to you know in the first i liked pitch black chronicles riddick was something i was like i didn't like it the first time because of the tone how rapid how the tonal change was you go from the sci-fi horror to this just like action fantasy sci-fi but then I, I, I like that, I, you know, I really enjoy it. I, I like it more than I like Pitch Black. And then of course the Riddick film came out, which I felt was a bit more disappointing because it felt like it was a mash of the first two films rather than something new and unique. And there was some writing issues, but ultimately I think it's a, I think it's a decent film. And then, you know, I was like, okay, they're promising us more about Furia. We're going to see more with the Necromongers and stuff like that. Riddle's going to come back and he's going to come, come strong. And I really wanted to see that. And that did not happen for the longest time. And yes, there was rumors of the fourth film being developed. And that has been talked about since, I don't know, Fast, uh, Fast and the Furious 5? Maybe even before that, Fast and the Furious 4? So, and, and this is my thing with the whole Riddick movie and Vin Diesel and the fan, F Fast and the Furious. Man, I would have liked him to make Fast and the Furious, Riddick. Fast and the Furious, Riddick. Fast and the Furious, Riddick. I would have loved that. But it was like Fast and the Furious, Riddick. Fast and the Furious, Riddick. Fast and the Furious, Riddick. Fast and the Furious, Fast and the Furious, Fast and the Furious. And I'm like, I get that you, you know, you're trying to milk it and everything and you're making money, but you do have a solid you know, following that follows this character in this universe, is, which is really good. Now, I'm not going to say it's got the best writing. Davey Tuhi, who I believe wrote and directed the first three films, after film two, I I think he needs to kind of take a step back. I mean, I'm not, I mean, he's got a really good idea of the character and the interesting situations that the character can be put in, and it does have a pretty interesting setup, uh, setup around the character, but I think at this point, I need to a bit, I, need, I think he needs some fresh eyes because if we're going to come with this fourth film I need him to come with a really good story I need him, I need him to I, I need him to jump especially since it's been like what it feels like I don't know I feel like 10 years or maybe more but uh, Riddick came out in 2013 so it's been like yeah, 10 years since you know the last film and you know he's got to definitely got to come with it you know what I mean but I'm willing to give him a chance. I, I cannot wait. I'm not going to lie. I am super excited for this. I really, really do enjoy the uh, Riddick franchise. I think it's really good. I think they should come out with more games. I'm surprised they ain't got no more comics. I'm sitting here looking for comics for them and I can't find them. Maybe I'm not looking in the right spot, but I, I, I like I said, I like the character. I do want to see more from this character. I don't care if they make it into games. I don't care if they stretch it into the television series, which I would love to see a TV series uh, as a prequel leading up to this. And I felt like they were talking about uh, that they had a prequel. Uh, I don't know if it was a game or a short movie or something, but it was like they, I want to say they got like a, they got like a, short film or something that's supposed to be like a uh, or a book or a comic or something that's supposed to be like uh, a prequel kind of setting up what happens before pitch black i need to go find it i need to go find it. i need to go find it but um i was very interested when i finally heard that but you know 
I'm happy if they if this is true. They're, they're going into this full force. You know, Fast 10, they just got to uh, finish develop, developing that. And I hadn't seen Fast and the Furious since Fast, uh, Fast 8, The Fate of the Furious. But I'm interested. I'm, I'm like, I'm glad that, they, that finally they're going to go with this. They're officially working on the fourth film. I do want to see where they're going to take this character. I want to see more of the universe. Uh, there was a potentially, from what I heard, heard and one of the one character from the original film is supposed to be returning. Now I'm not sure if that's the first film because pretty much everybody in the first film died. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the yeah everybody from the first film is dead at this point. I'm not sure if it's gonna be somebody from the second film or the third film. Now I do like Katie Sackhoff's character that was introduced in the third film, and if she comes back, I'm all for that. I thought she was pretty awesome. Uh, if uh, um, let's say. Dame Vaco, if Vaco and Dame Vaco kind of come back, I would like to see that. I would like to see a good face-off between, you know, them, uh, Vaco and Riddick, you know what I'm saying? After all, especially given that he left them on the, the planet, that um, on the planet in uh, Riddick 3 uh, for dead. So it'd be nice as somewhat of a revenge story, especially the way it's set up. So I, in, in, in fact, I read a thing, an article or something a while ago where it was supposed to be the next film is supposed to be Furia, and then uh, I want to say the last movie was supposed to be uh, Riddick going to what was that dark dimension that the Necromongers went to, the Necroverse, like him supposedly going there, maybe to settle those score. I'm not sure, but I know that these films are supposed to be delving more, uh, supposedly rumored to be delving more into Riddick's past more about the Furians and everything. I would like to see, now, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, I'm one of those people, like, there's no freaking way a planet full of spacefaring, uh, you know, super soldier warriors such as Riddick himself is, like, their whole planet died and he's like the last one. I've never bought that. I don't like that concept with Goku and them and Dragon Ball Z, I think that's dumb. Uh, even though the the Dragon Ball, the, the Brawly movie, uh, did a better explanation as to why that why uh, that did a better explanation as to why that was the case rather than the original movie uh, original series. I don't like the fact that in Superman, all, the Kryptonians is all on one planet. I don't buy that. The Martian Manhunter, Lobo, like I don't buy all that. I'm like your space fire. There's bound to be a couple of dozen here and a couple of dozen here and stuff like that. But anyways. I'm interested ultimately in seeing this. If Katie Sackoff comes back, cool. Vaco comes back, cool. I'm gr I'm happy that they're giving my boy some shine because if you're going to send off Riddick, do not send him off with the Riddick film. Send him off with an awesome, give me a good send off for the character. If you're going to end the franchise, give me a good send off for the character. He's freaking awesome. Vin Diesel, get on it, my boy. You didn't have this. Get your money and everything fine, but I need my my, my ready for it. <laughs> it's definitely one of those films that I was like highly anticipating.